We all know how important YouTube watch time is, so how do we stop our viewers from doing this? Hello? Hello, is there anyone there? Hello? Welcome back everyone, I'm Rob and this is vidIQ, the YouTube tool and channel that aims to help you get more views in less time. Our tool is free, a link is in the description, and while you're at it you might as well subscribe to our channel and tap the notification bell to get alerts when we produce anything new on our channel. Today's topic is all about audience retention, keeping your viewers watching your content for as long as possible, and we're going to use ourselves as an example, so let's jump straight in. In case you're unfamiliar with the term, audience retention is the average time a video is watched for and it's usually calculated as a percentage. As a simple example, if one person watches a one minute video for 30 seconds, that's an audience retention rate of 50%. As the numbers increase, this could get insanely complicated, but fortunately YouTube has a dedicated audience retention tool in their analytics. Now, using it to view your entire channel will only give you a vague insight, so you really need to drill down. Click on a specific video and that will start playing it along with a graph that starts at 100% audience retention and then falls as the video plays. So what you can do is watch your videos at a microscopic level to see why viewers might be switching off. Let's now put this to practice on one of our own videos. This is a 90 second tutorial on YouTube watch time and how important it is. Roll the tape! Welcome to a brand new series called vidIQ Shorts. 60 seconds, one topic, let's go. Simply put, watch time is the total number of minutes viewers watch your YouTube videos for. You can look at your watch time from the YouTube analytics page for either your entire channel or for individual videos. The vidIQ real-time stats bar also shows you watch time for the last seven days. While there are many factors that decide the success of a YouTube video, watch time is definitely one of the most important for one simple reason. The more minutes a viewer stays on YouTube, the more ads they can sell. As a video creator, it's your job to keep viewers on YouTube through watch time, so make sure to keep viewers engaged throughout your videos with the best content you can possibly produce. The more watch time your videos get, the more YouTube will promote them. Everybody wins! Check your audience retention analytics on a regular basis to see how long your viewers are watching your content for, because if you can keep them on YouTube to watch more videos, even if they're not your own videos, you will benefit from something called session watch time, which we will cover in a future video. Want us to cover a topic in 60 seconds? Let us know in the comments below and if you want to take advantage of vidIQ's Chrome extension to get more YouTube views in less time, download it for free today, a link is in the description. Like, subscribe, enjoy the rest of your video making day, bye for now. So what does this graph tell us? First of all, the good news. It has high audience retention for the first minute, being over 60%. However, you would expect this from such a short video. There are no sudden mid-video drops, which suggests the topic is relevant to the audience. The gradual decline simply represents a concentration span. The sudden drop-off at one minute, however, is very alarming, and on review of the video, we can see exactly why. The countdown clock and tone telegraphs the end of the video content, with the remaining 20 seconds being a pre-recorded like, subscribe and comment segment. Your audience has watched enough YouTube these days to sniff out such tactics and immediately switch off. In effect, 30% of my video is dead space and it's seriously affecting my audience retention. Audience drop-off at the end of videos is a common problem for YouTubers. I try and solve this by including an extra little bonus after the credits of longer videos, just like this one. But for my vidIQ shorts, I think what I'm going to need to do is completely kill off that end segment, because the last thing I want is viewers killing their YouTube session. Now let's take a look at some more examples. This 6 minute video loses half its audience in the first 15 seconds, which suggests the introduction is too long or the thumbnail and title don't match the content. This video looks like it's peaked too early, the second half of the video must be boring waffle that doesn't interest the viewer. This video is very long, which causes 80% of the audience to drop off in the first 15 minutes. Those that stay, however, seem to be there for the long run. Lots of watch time here. And this video spikes back to 100% one minute in. This is because viewers are replaying a certain section of the video, meaning something of significance occurred here. After that, there's a huge drop off. So those are some tips to help you review your audience retention analytics and find out why viewers might be switching off from your work. And think of it from this point of view. 
as a YouTuber, you should always be learning. I've just criticized my own work in this video, but that's absolutely fine because I want to improve as a YouTuber with every new video I make. Now, as way of an experiment to try and improve audience retention on vidIQ, I'm gonna play a little game with you. Try and find this logo somewhere in this video, it's already occurred, comment with the timestamp and simply say, I want to win. And you may randomly be picked for one month's free trial of vidIQ Boost. Enjoy the rest of your video making day. Bye for now. How do I get this light back on? Brilliant. What did I miss?